Hi guys, DevilDrugsYZ, and today we are back with more Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, again. <laughs> yeah, so, um, kind of like typical fashion, another, another DLC has just released. Granted, at this point, the last DLC came out back in the beginning of 2021, and that was, that was the classic difficulty. <laughs> and, I mean, I guess it's good that the 505 games, you know, it's still... Keep up with the word on all the DLCs that they promised. I guess no matter how long it really takes, because I, I think Bloodstain came out back in like 20... I think it was like 2019? I think that's when the game came out. And, you know, because, of course, surely, you know, DLC has kind of been coming out here and there. We you know, granted, COVID has kind of been one of the main issues why it's been... why all the DLCs has been delayed. <laughs> But, uh, what we have right now, I'm, yeah, I am going to, just testing this out, but we have another crossover event, and with that we have a new character, Aurora, from, uh, the Child of Light, if, if any of you even know what the Child of Light was, honestly, I, I kind of thought it, it was an interesting crossover, <laughs> I mean, granted, I do have the Child of Light. In fact, I even did a recording of Child of Light back in the beginning of 2019. Still on my channel, if any of you want to want to see it. But I kind of thought it was an interesting choice, considering Child of Light is kind of part action adventures and part like time-based RPGs. So I don't know. I kind of thought maybe a better choice would have been. Well, really, I kind of thought a more obvious character choice would be, like, Alucard, but... Well, I mean, you really have the Librarian here. OD. Or maybe another interesting choice would have probably been maybe Shantae. <laughs> but, honestly, I don't know how many people are really familiar with Child of Lights, and it's only just... Just the one game. <laughs> so, I, I guess, count myself lucky for even knowing Child of Lights. So, I think I'm gonna stick to a normal difficulty with this one here. <laughs> Lemuria saved Aurora and friends, caught a mirror bound for home. Instead, she found her journey never ends. As she awoke, a child alone, a storm outside tossed and raged. Had she arrived too late, through clouds dark, the moon presaged a homecoming delayed by fate. Why were we summoned to this land? She asked uh, Igniculus near. Firefly at my side, and sword in hand. No evil have I cause to fear. Oh woe, my friends in the storm, their plight bodes worse. I must find them and remove this foul curse. <laughs> I, I forgot about the writing in, in Child of Light. It's always done in rhymes. It's always done in rhymes, but it has that, that storybook feel to it. Okay, so, regular attack, R2 is the light ray, L1 square is the helm splitter, and then you got the parry. Huh. Yeah, that's right, she does have the sword. <laughs> light ray. Helm splitter. Harry. <laughs> okay. Well, it's gonna take a bit of a while to get used to these controls. Um, well, I gotta say, you know, it didn't do too bad for a model for Aurora. <laughs> okay, the sword of myth. Uh, the sword of Mathildas. Okay. Square will certainly attack. Four four squared 
defense, then sends damage back. Is it trying to rhyme even in the menus? Okay. Leaping Strike. I can apparently equip shards. I don't have any other weapons. Okay, my stats are there. <laughs> Familiar, Ignicolus. Summon for Nicholas to help you. Not exactly sure what Nicholas can do. Light Ray. Uh, hold R2 to target enemies. Release Black. Uh, release to blast them with radiant light. Hmm. Okay. That's good to know. Well, I guess typical fashion, we're starting out in the ship again. <laughs> I mean, it was different with Bloodless anyway, because Bloodless, we were starting in the middle of the, the castle. Well, I guess technically that's four playable characters in this game anyway. I mean, you have Miriam, you have Zan Zangetsu, you had Bloodless, and then you have Aurora. <laughs> I don't weirdly though, Bloodless was like the only weird case of having to of uh, selecting her as a character because in that case you had to actually you had to go out of your way to. Um, to name your file bloodless. Here, it's basically, it's just a, another character select. You know, I love how they changed the HUD to match Child of Light's HUD. Granted, she does get experience too, right? Yeah. Nothing here. Granted, I can only imagine what would be... I think for the most part the bosses are still going to be the same. Maybe the final boss might be different. That's the only thing I can think of. <laughs> I mean, it has to be something from the Child of Light. Oh. Well, okay, it seems like... Aurora has more defense than maybe Miriam does. Sapphire. Wait, I get to collect... Hmm. I'm just thinking I'm collecting cash now, or...? I can still slide, that's good. Alright, let's save, I guess. <laughs> In case you hear any thunder in the background, sorry, because we're in the middle of a thunderstorm. <laughs> well, not a major thunderstorm, but... Uh, hopefully the power's not going to go out. I'm just trying to... I really have no idea if clearing 100% of the map really matters. So far it really hasn't with any of the other characters. Trying 
to get an idea where I'm going. Okay. Surprisingly, Aurora controls pretty well, I guess. <laughs> Even though it's not really technically the same type of genre, per se. Although, honestly, I'm kind of wondering if they went with Child of Light. I mean, I'm kind of wondering if they did that for maybe possibility that there might be I don't know rumors to that sequel because I, I have been hearing rumors that there was a a possible sequel for Child of Light so I'm kind of wondering if that's the case if this is just more or less a tease for a possible sequel in the works Starting to feel familiar to me, kind of. <laughs> I mean, I think it should, considering I've beaten this game like. Well, at this point, I think I've beaten this game about four times already. Because I did two playthroughs with Miriam, I did a Zangetsu playthrough, and I did a Bloodless playthrough. my rounds here. I guess there's not much I can do. <laughs> uh, maybe I could set off the cannon, but I guess not. Seems like Nicholas can actually uh, help me out a little bit here. Well, I'm gonna have to pretty much come back anyway. <laughs> See no nothing. Oh. Ow. Okay, got try to be careful here.
uh, with... I didn't even think there's dialogue, to be honest. <laughs> with that demon's power, my own has grown stronger. I'll need such strength should this nightmare last longer. <laughs> Still need to rhyme. All day and every time. Uh, ship run aground and lands forsaken, an empty town lit by burning fires. Streets stalked by demons newly awakened, dark shadows cast by towering spires. For her friends in this nightmare adrift, Aurora sends them missing near. I'll rescue them, return through what rift has mysteriously brought us here. Our, on her previous journey, when first outset, she sought wings forged of stars in the sky. On endeavor to flight, they did abet a foundation, a foundation on which her quest relied. Thus the princess set out, not else to say, and hope, and hope stars once again might light her way. <laughs> Feels like I'm just reading a storybook. <laughs> I gotta say, it kind of feels like they put a little bit more time into this uh, crossover with this new character. Well, I say new character, but it's familiar to me. But I'm just saying, it feels like they put more time for this one. Like, they kind of flesh out the game a little bit more, or flesh out the story, I guess. Maybe that kind of explains why it took a while for the, at least Sony. And for some reason, the PlayStation version of this DLC got delayed by like about four days. <laughs> I think it might have been more to technical issues than anything else. Hey. Well, nothing here. Well, I mean, this used to have been the item shop. Oh, we actually have Johannes. <laughs> I didn't think you'd actually be here. Uh, pardon, kind sir, are you alone in this place? This is nowhere for children. You must return home. Truly, I must. For too long have I roamed to native Austria we raced. But alas, we're split up. Now my friends are alone. Uh, Austria? In the Roman Empire? At any rate, I haven't seen your friends. There are only demons, I fear. Though odd to you, they might appear. They look a bit like my firefly here. A familiar shard, but you're no shard binder. I may be able to help after all. If you locate your friends, I should be able to increase their rank, which will improve your chance of survival. <sighs> My powers, as well, are in need of revival. Though we must return soon, what do I ask in return for this boon? No payment needed. I'm happy to help for scientific curiosity. I need only alchemic materials, materials which can be found in chests. I'll keep my eyes open at the behest. What are we transmuting this time? Uh, what do we even have? <laughs> Light ray. I guess I can increase it. Uh, I guess I can actually get shards in this game. So that's kind of surprising. <laughs> Got myself the village key. Well, well, well. Level six already. Might as well get this portal open, right? It's not going to really get me anywhere, but...
Emerald. I kind of forgot about the secret areas hidden around this place. <laughs> Granted, if I even remember any of them, that'd be nice. Well, I guess in any case, my sword is getting stronger. <laughs> So who knows, maybe this, I mean, even though Child of Light is really more played in, in a uh, RPG-esque manner, it's kind of been, I mean, it still has RPG elements, or uh, Bloodstain, I mean, so I guess it kind of works out. Keep going. Actually, I kind of am wondering if you're if you're gonna find Aurora's friends as well. Entrance. So I'm kind of guessing this is kind of the alternate continuity. I guess somehow <laughs> Aurora gets transported into this castle. here. Okay, so I mean, I'm gotta be collecting this for some reason. Trying to avoid getting a hit. Okay, well, the fountains have already been drained, so that's good.
All right, I'm getting there. <laughs> what was that? Two ten. Ow. timing. Good. I'm at eight. <laughs> at the Garden of Silence. Okay, I'm trying to remember here where I need to go. I know that's an optional boss fight, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a powerful boss fight, <laughs> so maybe not now. Can't quite reach that. There's the bloody moon. Max hit points. Okay, get away from me. Safe spot. Out to level nine. That's good. Okay. 
Yeah, I need to work on the parry because I'm going to need it for this fight. Oh, shoot, he's fast. <laughs> I forgot how fast Zangetsu was. It works. Maybe it does. Ooh, snap. If I just keep parrying attacks, it works. Okay. I can't be reckless either. Oh, shoot. God, and Nicholas can actually heal me. <laughs> Hooray! Oh my god. Oh, I got a shard. I guess <laughs> just powering up the light ray, that's it. That's a little bit disappointing, to be honest. But, well, I don't know. I, she's not Miriam, so she can't really have everything. I guess Zangetsu's okay? Maybe? I'm gonna say he is okay. <laughs> uh, right. Right. Gotta get some shards. <laughs> Nice if I had a double jump. Seems like if I'm lucky, that, that attack. I mean, it seems like that attack can actually. The leaping strike can do multiple hits if I time it right. Or it could be just the angle of which I'm attacking. Right, at the cathedral.
Okay. Uh, Firefly, look. With this shard, your power is enhanced. Nothing from him. If we can gather more, we may yet stand a chance. So I can increase the power of Aniculus. <laughs> I don't know how much she could really do. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Contra shard. Press triangle to trigger a projectile magic. Consumes MP. Uh, Jen, transformed by a curse. Regale your surroundings with a chilling and damaging cry. Oh sweet, oh sweet, Gen, you deserve better. On the bright side, we. At least we're together. Oh. It works. Eats up a lot of my, uh... Uh... Oh, Jen. Okay, now... So, wait a minute. Okay, well, the thunder's getting louder. Okay, so apparently Aurora's friends are in this castle. And I guess they've been trans- yeah. They've been transformed by a curse. <laughs> That's kind of clever. Include her friends in this. Huh. What do you know? I, I barely remember the characters anymore, unfortunately, because it's been a while since I played Child of Light. <laughs> I mean, it's been three years since I played the game. <laughs> I forgot who Jen was. But I remember she was one of the last allies you got in the game. Like, pretty late, actually, thinking about it. <laughs> Um, can't go any higher. Just keep going across, I guess. Get away, demon cat. <laughs> This was where the, the barber was at, so you've wanted to change your appearance, but unfortunately not here. Uh, okay, want to teleport. It's good that Nicholas can actually heal me. Man, this storm is getting closer. <laughs> Well, I'm making progress anyway. Yeah, 
It's the giant hand. I kind of wish Aurora had like a like a dodge button, <laughs> like a back dash. Close there. <laughs> uh, Rora's hunch proved true. Bright stars granted her flight. What meaning lies within this ruse? Who engineered such a plight? For it to be her quest this night, then Aurora retrace her steps. First, the tallest tower, highest height, then no choice but deepest depths hm. okay hey transform uh, x to modest height one more would take flight <laughs> x jumps to a modest height x once more now take flight oh, i finally got my wings And hopefully it won't take up any magic, right? <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty terrible if it did. Well, at least I got my flight abilities, that's good. I mean, I remember getting the the wings in Childhood Light. Granted, that actually happened near the beginning of the game. Being able to just fly around anywhere in the stage or anywhere in the area. Yeah, I mean, there doesn't really seem to be any limits to where you can go. <laughs> I mean, it's better than a double jump. <laughs> going oh yeah there was a hidden area here I'm starting to remember <laughs> Get hit by the bats, though. That's nice. I gave my flying is faster than my, uh, <laughs> even my flying is faster than just using my. It just wreck the running. Uh, 
Actually, luckily I can still attack even while I'm flying, so that's good. Firefly Elixir. Well, I guess I can... I guess I can just go back to Johannes to see if I can level up anything. Maybe try not to get hit as well, that'd be nice. Just saying. Call. That storm is really raging through here. Reckless right now. Okay, let's just get back. Just trying to get uh, much of the map completed. I can't fly through the doors. I have to actually run through here. <laughs> yeah, but seriously, flying is a lot faster than running. Can I level up anything, Johannes? What are we transmuting this time? I went with the Firefly Elixir. <laughs>
Uh, okay. I think I'll probably call it here. I might actually consider just, uh, you know, for the sake of just maybe speeding up this run, because I don't want to do a lot of backtracking, per se, or at least I don't want to show off a lot of backtracking. I might just kind of go back to the ship and maybe just, you know, kind of go through the areas there. Or maybe. Actually, I don't know. There might be some hidden stuff there, too. Who knows? <laughs> I guess I could probably just double check real quick. I don't think I had that met that much left to really explore. Storm is getting close. I was like, I might have to just call it pretty soon because I'm worried that the power might actually go out. <laughs> it's, uh, I'm so close. I am so close. I have to take the long way around. Nothing there. Try to navigate here. Don't mind me. Try to make sure there's nothing hidden.
I mean, more poltergeists, but nothing really here. Alright, I think that's really it. I don't I don't remember anything else. Alright. Going to my base of operations here. But I think I've uncovered a good amount, or at least this first session anyway. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. And you've got 11% done. So, not too bad. I guess overall, though, playing as Aurora is, uh, it's, it's interesting. I give it that much. <laughs> I mean, it strangely kind of does fit, you know, in the, uh, you know, the same gameplay style. Because they, they have similar gameplay styles, but, it, uh, I mean, overall, though, it, it's just, I don't know, it's just kind of an odd crossover, but it seems to work, just from what I can tell. <laughs> it seems to fit well with this, this universe, anyway. But, uh. That being said, though, I'm going to find time to continue more of this later. Alright guys, this is Delphine Z, and until next time.